Our waiting time is very much influenced by the train of thought that comes at the end of Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, where Jesus tells his disciples that they must wait in the city until they've been clothed with power from on high, that is, God the Holy Spirit. Uh, that was the first disciples who had been with Jesus and seen it all physically. And we, so many years later, absolutely need the power of that same Holy Spirit to enable us to meet with Jesus and be his witnesses. So we pray, come Holy Spirit. Come open our hearts. Renew our minds. Give us wills to know you and serve you. And then maybe that some of these words from Luke chapter 24 will ring a bell or set a glimmer of hope or a train of thought in motion. Or of course you could open the scripture and look at all the different words that are there. Come Holy Spirit, be our comforter and guide. Shine a light on your word to us. On the first day of the week, peace be with you. He opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. I'm going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you've been clothed with power from on high. And you might like to write down or make a note of anything you think or feel God is saying or bringing to your heart. Uh, check it out with somebody else. Uh, pray about it again later on. So much is changed when we can discern what God is saying and follow it up. And follow the particular things that he puts into our minds. And of course sometimes we just have to uh, gently say goodbye to the stray thoughts that come. Holy Spirit come to us. And even as we say the creed. Maybe God will highlight particular things that can renew our faith and trust. So let's not just say this as it were into the ceiling, but with words of faith coming from our hearts. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the peace of God that passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us now and always. Amen. <laughs>